Hello and welcome to my video. Okay, now what I'm going to talk about in this video is what we need is we need a function to be able to convert between the two boards because sometimes we're only using this part of the board for a border so sometimes you want to only search through these inside squares so we need something to convert between the squares now if I, let me just do something one sec Okay, now these inside squares, what I could do is, if I just do them red, I won't, I won't change the top one, but if I will, let me see, no one, two, Three, four, five, six. What I'll do is I will change this one here. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm not changing the top row. But but if I was to um if I was to put numbers into all of these, that would be 0, 1, 2, up to 6, then we've got 7. And can you see how these numbers are completely different? So what we want to be able to do is, in fact, I'll put, I'll put the first two in. I'll put a couple of them in. I want to be able to do 1. I want to... Whoops. Okay, I can deal with this one. I want to be able to put 4 and then it converts it into 15. And I want to be able to put 5 and it converts into whatever that should be there. For instance, this number here. Because what it is, if I was able to, if I had something to convert it, I would be able to. I would be able to just loop here and then loop here and loop here without going to the whole board okay so sometimes i, would, I, don't, I don't want to go to the whole board the whole time so so there's a there's a way to do it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to first create the array and Luckily for us, when we initialize the board here, we first do that. And remember the last time we set all of these to empty. As you can see, them are the exact squares that we need to convert to. So as it turns out, if we just get the index of i here, If we do that, that should do it. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna initial. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because I have to keep initializing the board. I'm gonna let it do it automatically now. I think I've done this a bit too often now. I should have just copied everything. So I'm going to let that happen. So that, all, that will happen automatically now. So I saw what I did was that. 
Now, if I want to look in the contents of that, you'll see that it's still it. So that's the map. So if I go back, if I open up this, let's just show it back. It's them squares there that are affected by this little thing. So as you can see, let me have a look. Something looks wrong here. Um. Okay, that's what it is. Um, so if I get the value of convert to now, can you see at index zero? Oops. At in that say that is this in at index zero is ten. As in index one, it is eleven. So can you see? So even though this one jumps from here to there and it's all of a sudden it's nineteen, that is index seven. So if we go one to naught one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We know what it is. Can you see there? It jumps as well. So, so all we have to do is, because we've got this convert to array, we can convert between the both boards. And luckily for us, because we initialized the board and we touched all the empty squares here, we don't have to do anything to get it. We just have to um do that. So that's that. So now that we have that convert to, we can do quite a lot of things. For instance, we need a function to tell when the because what it is we want to know when the game's finished. Like what it is, the computer's gonna take a turn, then it's gonna check, is the board empty? Then I'm gonna take a turn, then it's gonna check, is the board empty? So we need to check whether there's any move. We need to check whether the board board is empty. So one way I can do that is by doing a simple loop, and what I'm going to do is paste it all in. And I'll explain it. As you can see, it is using that convert to. We're going, there's the play board, which is, it's going to be 42 squares. So exactly what I said we're going to do, we're going to, all I have, what I want to do is, What I want to do is I want to loop from here and then I want to do here without going on the outside and that is these inside squares and it's because I've got that convert to I've simply got to loop through the first 42 squares and this would automatically because I've got that convert to there it would automatically touch these squares so it's quite useful in that sense and another way it's useful is when I print the board at the moment I'm printing the whole board so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to change the name of that to all and because I've got that converter now I 
can create another function that just prints the part of the board that we need. Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to delete, declare another constant. And I'm going to call it piece characters because um on this board I don't I don't want to see I don't want to see numbers I want to see um red and yellow half a red half a yellow and whatever else okay so what I'm going to do is I want to create piece characters as a constant and then I'm going to paste in this function that's going to print a board. Something more friendly. I'll talk about it's it's, it's it's very similar to print ball all. Can you see solely looping the that board? And it's doing exactly the same thing, but what it does here is it's using converter here to get the inside board, and what it's using is P's characters. So instead of doing three, instead instead of a zero, it will do a R. Instead of a one, it will do a Y, and then it will do that as well. So if I test it, if I just do print board and board, let's see if this how this thing looks. Can you see? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a third board. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to copy. I want to show you how the board looks when it's got a board on it. So if I get that, I copy. And after I copy it, I'm going to open that. I'm going to change a certain line. And it's going to be this line. I'm going to copy it in, then I'm going to take out the convert to. So I'm going to do that. Then I don't want it to convert it. And I'm going to give it our other name, pin all board to. And let's see how that one prints. Okay, I've used index here. Let's just get that to be index. And there you go. So let's just let's look at that one. Can you see? That's the board with that's the board with uh, you might be able to see better if I do this. Can you see that's the board with that's the board with the numbers. That's the board with the P's characters. Can you see? I'm just I'm just doing like that. So that means in fact when we when we are testing the board, we are gonna actually we will probably use we we'll probably use print board which is this one so we're looking at
One sec. That's going to be, this is the one that we're going to use most of the time. I think my internet connection went, that's why it stopped working. Okay. So I'm going to stop this video now. Until next time, bye.